Okay, so this is, um, I think, it's like path three. Touch to the side circle neck to repair. Uh, all right, so move this backflip, which is what usually goes bad and missing. Okay. Let me show you how to uh, remove this connector without damaging the board at all. So first you want to get rid of the plastic pieces. Just tilt them upward. That's it. Get a soldering iron, heat it up. Use this soldering alloy from cyberdagalc.com. Such. And use lots and lots and lots of flux. When you buy the soldering alloy from us, you usually get some flux that's free. Free so. samples. Okay. So once your iron is hot enough. Try to get it onto the pins. This repair requires a uh, much, much more zoom in the magnified microscope. So you need to actually solder each pin individually by hand. I don't really know any better way to do this than that. I mean, for iPad 2 you can heat it up but with hot air, but for iPad 3 and 4, uh, especially with LCD connector, there's really no better way to do this. Okay. One thing that's important before you do this repair, you need to make sure there's no pin that's ripped off on the board. So the back side is easy, you just tilt it and get a little bit more of the solder. Tilt it upwards, this pin will come up. This pings are pretty much off at this point. Okay. I think the phone side pings are the whole and hard to do. Okay, so you need a little bit more alloy than that to make this work. Definitely get from the side. These are hard to unsolder.
Okay. everything off, just clean the board, you can shake off the SS part and wipe the cam wipe. These alloys are reusable, so you can suck them if you want to. The next stage is to clean the tracks. A lot of flux. This stuff is actually kind of important. Um, don't put any solder and tin the the very full pins. I'm gonna keep those open. Only tin the pads that has connections. And even then, you don't want too much uh, solder. On. A little bit just enough. Okay, now I need to go get a connector. Bye.
this is the hard part. This is the part that I have to solder each pin by hand one by one. So I'm gonna do the front side first because the back side is rough for easy. And you need a lot of flux. Like a lot. Because the shower does not do flux. And you need a very, very fine tip sorting iron. Technically, I think the tip on this one is already not fine enough for this use. But we're gonna give it a try anyway. And we need salt paste. Magnify glass is a maximum magnification and focus. Okay. And look for the connector. Solder four corners. It'll be kind of difficult with this one because of the paper that I put it here. So we're gonna move that a little bit. Don't need it anymore actually. Put this on the connectors. See if I can help you guys when you zoom in a little more. So you can see what I'm doing. It's not magnify, I can max I can zoom. Alright, so again you need flux for this. Like a lot. So once you solder like one pin, I'm gonna move to the other side. Get those pins in. Okay. You wanna check the one that's in the middle if they're aligned okay. This one they have a connection, you can see the back side. So I'm gonna solder all four pins. Back side is kind of important, so you can touch it and get the pin to solder. And that's a good alignment. Okay, so my solder line is actually just thing enough to do this job. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna be very gentle. And I'm gonna solder the phone first because it's the most difficult. And need to solder more. Oh, okay, paste. Let me see if we can do this around here. Okay, maybe not towards the other face.
the smaller soldering iron. Come up to the little bit. I think I know what the problem is. I've got the Tinder from active before I started. Solid bridge, I'll fix that later. Put this other thing I'll show you. So I should go easier than the other.
everything is soldered. Took a while. Um, so my solution for the side is that if you can try to solder the side, but if you can, it's fine. Just leave it alone. This is not always needed to be soldered, especially when you don't have a very fine tip soldering iron. So just leave it alone. It's fine. So since my soldering iron tip is not really that fine. Solder the side of it. Alright, just leave it alone, it's fine. This connector is gonna stay because of all the little teeny um, connection that you solder it. Okay, thank you for watching. That's it, that's how you do the. This is an iPad 3 touch digitizer connector. Bye.